What is up guys? Welcome back to the next video. I am doing a little juicy Q&A that I just got off of YouTube um, or Google YouTube template um, since if I put a Q&A out there I'm not going to get enough questions to make a video. I don't want to make this too long so I'm just going to kind of pick and choose a few that I think would be the most entertaining to share with you um, and then yeah just kind of go from there and hopefully in the future people will you know ask questions when I put it out there and everything but um I kind of already like read through the questions just to see and they are questions of like things that people have asked me like in my regular life so I figured you know this would be the most fun and enticing questions to answer in the video so let's get started all right first question is have you ever accidentally sent a text message to the wrong person what did it say uh, specifically what it said don't know um yes probably more than once I have done the whole take a screenshot and send to another person and that's happened before where it's not a big deal but then it's also happened when you're like oh shit uh, what do I do because this is back before iPhones had the unsend button as well um, so totally obvious that you screenshotted their message and sent it back to them and that you're obviously sharing that with someone else um, so yeah it was probably just like girlfriend drama bullshit um, I don't think I've ever really ha like done that. I've learned my lesson too many times where I don't do it now, but I don't think like in relationships or anything I've made that mistake. Probably because I am uber careful if that was the case. Um, just because I'm like, you know, if I fuck this up, then fuck the relationship up. So bye. Uh, next question. What is the most trouble you've ever gotten into as a kid? Uh... <laughs> Probably, this middle school that was probably like biggest. So when I was in eighth grade, I was like, look, I got in trouble a couple times in my life. Um, when I was in eighth grade, MySpace was the thing. <laughs> For all you young people, you don't even know what that is. Um, but MySpace was a thing and I had these friends um, we're gonna be vague so um we're not friends anymore but had these friends and there was this girl that didn't like us and um the friends that i had trying to not give anything away um decided to cha we change well we all did um changed our like our headline next to our profile picture to the song lyrics and then had our song is the song that the lyrics are, which I will share with you in a second. And then we put like our mood as we were into this band called Hollywood Undead. So like we each had like a person from the band um, or we like picked somebody and it was like, I think like their name or something. And then our little emoji was crunk, which totally didn't know what crunk meant in eighth grade. Like just thought the emoji was funny because it was like, or whatever like not thinking crazy drunk um and then the song was a song by this group called millionaires um and it was called back down bitch i think and so all of our like everything was matching and our bios was like the chorus and it was so bad it was um something about like shut up c-u-n-t you're done back down bitch you're fucking done like so bad and it's a horrible song like it's so inappropriate especially for an eighth grader and they say the c-word so many times and also just not appropriate for your headline and your song and everything else and it was kind of like us being mean girls but um i was part of that however i didn't realize that they were like commenting on her page or whatever and like leaving nasty messages and stuff and she like printed all of our pages out all of their comments and like took it to the principal and got in trouble and ended up getting three days iss missing field day which was a total bum next question have you ever had a secret crush on one of your friend's partners and did you ever act on it um i probably growing up maybe thought like a friend's boyfriend was cute or or something but i i don't think i've ever had like a crush on them specifically i would never act on it 
I'm totally not that person. Like I am uber competitive, but I am not competitive with men. I don't play the game of, oh, is it gonna be her, is it gonna be me? Like it's either me or it's not. Like it is, it is if you don't want me, there's a million other men in this world that I can go find or whatever. So um, never, yeah, been that person. Have you ever stolen anything? If so, what was it? A few times. Um, it was all when I was in college uh, at our local. And those, oh my gosh, sign. Those little like plastic headbands that like have the rubber to like pull your hair back. We'd wear them for volleyball practices and stuff. Cause in games you couldn't wear like the, anything like plastic or hard. You had to wear like the soft ones. But I have a child youth size head. So like I have such a tiny head. <laughs> And so like the soft ones never like stayed so like for games I would just do like French braids um, But for practice I just throw in a ponytail and do that because I have like all my little flyaways or whatever um, And so I remember like the rubber from like adjusting it so much would just like wear down and then it doesn't stay Because it's just like they'd have like the prongs or whatever and then it was just smoothed out And so I didn't want to like keep buying them so like they came in like packs of three And I liked the one that like was like my hair of like a blonde brown there was like a black a brown and a blonde brown I think and so I would just go back to Walmart and like wear it and like swap it out in the back <laughs> so bad I'm so sorry to anybody that bought that pack and got the shitty blonde one <laughs> young and dumb what is the weirdest dream you've ever had that you can remember <sighs> I don't generally have dreams I have nightmares um, and I take gummies to sleep because I have like sleep insomnia and I never sleep well and this and that, but, um, I take gummies so I don't dream most of the time or have nightmares, but occasionally I do. And this one time, I don't even, it was such a weird thing. I don't even know if you guys know this, but anything that is in your dreams is something you've seen in real life. Like you can't like just make something up. Like you can find stuff, but like even people that you see in your dreams, you've seen them in real life at some point. Like you go to like New York City and you're walking down the street and you like look at someone's face, you could dream about them and be like, I don't even know that person. But like, yeah, you don't know them, but you've seen them. Um, so that's a fun fact, but I was in college but i don't even know where this building was because it was not like my college but it was my the people i went to high school with like some of them and we were leaving school and it was like one building in this like middle of nowhere not even like where i went to college like cornfields just like open field and we're like leaving and then all of a sudden i don't even remember what happened but like somebody was like chasing like me and my friends that i was talking to and we just started running and then at some point like we're running and we're like now on a neighborhood street and <laughs> so weird it just gets weirder and so i see this house that like has a gate and i like jumped the fence or somehow like got into it and i was like oh i'll be good in here so i go in there and i'm like looking for like somewhere to hide in like the yard because there was like shit everywhere <laughs> and like it had tombstones <laughs> i'm telling you it just gets weirder it tombstones so i was like okay, I'm gonna like go over here and hide. Well, then they like had all these dogs that like came out that were ready to attack. And I'm like hiding, trying to be quiet, hoping they don't smell me. They're like coming out and they can't find me. And then all of a sudden, I seriously can't make this up. A giant, bigger than the house. And it was a two, at least a two story, like massive house. Very like haunted house, obviously with tombstones and stuff, which is very appropriate because it's about to be October, so weird but um a giant purple fire breathing dragon came out looking for me i've got people running after me and this dragon trying to find me on his property and then i woke up so yeah weird um my nightmares are always some weird shit and everyone's like were you on drugs and i was like well i take like thc gummies to go to sleep but like no i wasn't on like acid or something like that didn't watch a movie about dinosaurs or anything weird like that, so don't know why it happened, but it happened. <laughs> um, have you ever cheated on a test or exam? How did you do it? Um, many times, so sorry. <laughs> um, I just like looked over at someone. At one point I was in Spanish class and my girlfriend was like texting me because she was Spanish, like the answers and my teacher was so stupid, like not paying attention. I'm literally just like 
writing everything um but like looking over at one point in college i cheated in algebra three which i should have never been in the class like oh you've taken algebra let's put you in there i'm like literally i'm not even allowed to have c's and algebra one and two were the only classes i ever got d's in why would you think it's a good idea to put me in algebra three so then i tried to copy um my boyfriend at the time's roommate and he would like do the problems like vertically or horizontally and i was like i'm gonna do them the other way so it's not obvious and then the teacher caught on except for i still failed <laughs> and he didn't so i was a bad cheater at that but that is it i hope you guys enjoyed these juicy little questions and i will see you all in the next video bye